Hi there again, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about winter traction, and specifically, we're going to be reviewing these ice cleats for kids by High Stream Gear. Hello again, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be reviewing the High Stream Gear Ice Cleats for Kids. These are winter traction devices designed for ice and snow on moderate slopes. Well, what do we mean by that? Because we know that no one piece of gear is perfect for everything. Well, High Stream Gear states that these ice cleats are, quote, highly suitable for outdoor ice and snow, icy roads, icy driveways, ice mud, slanting terrain, and ice covered stones. If you were in the deep snow, you'd be wanting a snowshoe. And you certainly can learn more about snowshoes from our video on those pieces of equipment. Now, if you're on steep snow or ice, you need a technical crampon and an accompanying stiff sole boot, like we briefly mentioned in our video when we reviewed the Kamek Snowbuster 1's kids' winter boots. But for ice on your driveway or hiking a trail that might be a mix of snow, ice, and mud, or getting out onto packed snow, you want something that is a micro spikes class of traction. Not a full crampon, but not a snowshoe. Microspikes is an interesting term because it's the same kind of thing as calling a soda a Coke. That is, it's actually a brand name, but it's become the standard. Catula is the company that makes the product that is actually called Microspikes, and they are continuously rated the best. They keep winning Backpacker Magazine's Editor Choice Awards, and in 2018, they were one of 11 products given the Editor's Choice Hall of Fame Award after that magazine had been doing gear reviews for 25 years. So here they are. At the basic level, they're a set of 12 stainless steel 3 8 inch crampon style spikes connected to each other by stainless steel chain and held onto the shoe by a silicone cover that fits over the top of your shoe or boot. Now within this traction category of micro spikes, there are different types as well, suited for specific activities. There is more of a platform style with very small studs that are specifically used for winter running. So obviously these aren't intended for steep slopes or a lot of snow. In addition to the kind that wrap over your shoe, some runners actually screw in small sheet metal screws into the bottoms of their shoes as a cheaper alternative. There are also wire-based traction devices that are more for walking, icy driveways and porches, those kinds of things. So if you want something for winter trails, these 3 8 inch crampon style spikes are the standard. The problem for kids is that micro spikes don't come in kids' sizes. So is there a replacement that has the same style and the same functionality? Well, these ice cleats from High Stream Gear are the only ones that I've found. They're about $40 cheaper than Catula's adult micro spikes. So it begs the question, are these High Stream Gear cleats great value? Or is this more of a you get what you pay for kind of thing? The basic construction is the same. Steel spikes connected via a steel chain and held over the shoe or boot by a silicone cover. The spikes on the high stream gear cleats are narrower and shorter, but we found that the kids have gotten great bite on ice and hard snow. But the placement of the spikes in relation to the surface area of the sole of your footwear is different, and we feel a little bit inferior when we're talking about the high stream gear ice cleats. The width of the spikes that are on the ball of the foot are the same width as the fully adult sized Cthulhu micro spikes, which doesn't really make sense seeing you're going to be putting these on a smaller foot. We found that when we put these on our kids' size shoes, that the outermost spikes actually wrap around the corners rather than sit flush against the sole of the shoe. Now, to be fair, our kids wear a size shoe that is a full US size or about two EU sizes below the recommended smallest size by High Stream Gear, which is a US 13 or an EU 31. But it still seems odd that the spacing would be just as wide as an adult size version of these traction devices. Also, with the Catulos, you have a defined set of spikes that clearly engage at the heel. The High Stream Gear cleats end up having four of the spikes hit at the instep, where they really don't help much with traction. What I do like about the layout and spacing of the spikes is that there's no toe spike. A toe spike is a tripping hazard. If you had one long spike coming out of your toe, as you swung your foot down to reach the surface, if that toe spike hit before the rest of your shoe, you would arrest your momentum and fall forward. Now, the silicone that covers your boot 
is comparable to the Catula microspikes. And surprisingly to a lot of people, not a weak point. I've had Catula microspikes for 10 years and I've never seen the silicone break. Now getting the silicone to stretch over the shoe or boot is easy enough and our kids are able to get the spikes on by themselves. The high stream gear ice cleats also have a Velcro strap that helps cinch down the silicone over the boot, making the entire system even smaller for smaller boot sizes. It cinches around the outside up over the top of the instep. Now, the kids do need help attaching this Velcro strap, especially when wearing gloves, but it does add a significant amount of adjustability, and we're happy that it's an included feature. As far as durability goes, we've used the high stream gear ice cleats on all manner of terrain, ice and packed snow, over dirt, over rock, over concrete, over asphalt, and even use them on dry sections of trail. They've held up really well to the banging and abrasion. But they have been showing some signs of rust, and here, I think, is where that price difference comes into play. They don't list stainless steel as being their material, just steel. This can be managed by either drawing off your spikes upon completion of your outing, or using something like a navel jelly to clean any early rust off, but that's certainly a bit of a maintenance headache. Also, when we got ours, some of the tow bar connections weren't closed tightly enough. This is easy enough to fix again, just get a pair of pliers, but it is something else that you have to remember to do. So, to be honest, it's a bit of a mixed review on these high stream gear ice cleats for kids. Bottom line though, would we recommend them? I think the answer is yes, but only to those of you that are willing to put in the maintenance effort. Now, while the location of the traction isn't what I would call ideal, you still get far better traction using these than you would with any of those running or walking style specific traction devices. The kinds that you can more easily find in kid sizes, but which don't really help you once you get off of your streets and get out into nature. So if you wanna go with this micro spike style traction, this is still really the only kid sized option. And frankly, the traction works really well, just not optimally. The adjustability is outstanding, which is important for growing kids, obviously, and they are incredibly affordable for this type of gear, which is always a plus. So could they be improved? Yes. Will they do the job if you're willing to put in a little bit of work keeping them performing? Yes. So when it comes to balancing cost, ease of use, and product longevity, how do you approach your transactions? Does it change when you're buying equipment for your kids, knowing that they're going to quickly outgrow things? Let us know in the comments section. If you found this video to be useful and maybe helpful in your purchasing decision, please hit that like button. You can also find additional information related to this review or related to any of our videos by visiting our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. The link's in the description. We release new video content every week, so if you want to be alerted to that, you can subscribe and ring that bell. And please also let us know in the comment section if there are any topics you'd like to see us cover in our videos so that we can keep on producing content that's going to help you and your family get more out of that big outside.